Warm tones, hot chocolate, good for the soul. Warm those bones. Yeah. Minus the 90 degrees. Um, I heard you're gonna hook us up with some hot chocolate nails. Hot chocolate nails, yes. Hot chocolate, no. Oh. I, don't, I, I don't have that. How Sorry. about some hot toddies? Oh. Ooh, even Later. better. <laughs> anyway, so I love this uh, idea. I love it for in, uh, inspo, plus those warm tones are just so popular. I'm really curious as to what you do and how you bring it together. And then maybe you'll tell us how much you're gonna charge us for this. I think I could do that. Cool, let's get started. All right, so it's starting to get a little chilly outside. I'm waking up in the mornings and I'm thinking, I just need something warm and cozy to drink. And today's design is inspired by some hot chocolate, which is perfect for this time of year. So these nails are gonna be a nice cozy winter design, cozy fall design, and inspired by hot chocolate. So for today's design, we're gonna do a demonstration of a gel manicure, but it's also something that you could do on top of either an acrylic nail or a hard gel nail. So what we're gonna use today is Cocoa 101, Phenomenal, Canvas 101, Manicure Top and Base Coat. We're gonna use the glitter from our new collection. So if you were one of the lucky ones to grab it on Black Friday, we're gonna use that today. And then we're also gonna use a little bit of our gold leafing. So for a gel manicure, whether you're doing gel manicure, artificial nails, you're always gonna start by pushing back those cuticles. So go through, push back the cuticles on all five nails on one hand, go through all the way through on the other hand. And then we're gonna come back and use our electric file with the medium arbor band. We're gonna keep our speed on about three to 5,000 RPMs. We're gonna come right up around that cuticle area, clean up that cuticle, and then just kind of flow through the rest of the body of that nail, okay? Now, if you're doing a full set, do your acrylics, your hard gels, do your application, and do your filing and finish, but only go to a 150 grit file. If you use anything too fine or finer than a 150, it's gonna to be too fine, and then your gel polish is gonna slide right off the nail. So one, have a little bit of that grip to the nail. So a 150 or a medium arbor band is gonna work great. All right, so once we've got all of that shine removed, we're gonna come back in and I'm gonna dust off that nail. Really make sure that you get all of that dust off and if you notice, I'm brushing in the direction that the nail grows. I'm not going across. If you start brushing across the nail, what's gonna happen is you're actually gonna start to push that dust down into those sidewalls. Brush in the direction that it grows, and it's gonna pull all of that dust out of your sidewalls. Again, whether we're doing a, a full set of acrylics, hard gels, or a gel manicure, we're gonna use our swipe to cleanse the nail. That's gonna help to get any last little bits of the dust off. It's also going to help to pH balance the surface of that nail so we have a nice clean, dry, bacteria-free surface. Again, brushing in the direction that that nail grows. We're gonna come back in with our protein bond. And again, whether you're do, doing a full set or you're doing a gel manicure, we're gonna use one coat of the protein bond. Now, when you're doing a gel manicure, if you're somebody who likes to soak your product off to change out your designs, only do your protein bond right at that free edge, okay? If you're going to file off your product to change out your design, go ahead and protein bond the whole nail. That way, when you file off your product, you're always gonna have that layer of protein bond underneath your base coat, and you only have to file down to your base coat. So that way, it's always gonna protect that natural nail. All right, once we've got our coat of our protein bond on, we're gonna come in with our manicure base coat. Now, again, if you are doing a full set, you don't have to use the base coat. You can go right into your colors. But on a natural nail set, gel manicure, you're always gonna do a coat of your base coat. And so we're gonna just brush that through the nail, go through all five nails, and then you can pop that into the light 
Once you've got one hand in the light, you're gonna start working on your second hand. You always wanna kinda of be in motion. You always wanna be doing something. That's where you're gonna save your time. So if you're somebody who is always concerned about how can I, how can I speed up my process, always be working, always be in motion. We're gonna get a nice even coat of our base on all five nails. And then we're gonna go into the light. Now again, if you're working on a full set, put the hand into the light for as long as it takes you to do the other hand. 30 seconds is enough to freeze it. A full minute is a full cure. And we're gonna go for 60 seconds on that one. I'm gonna actually start with my glitter and we're gonna do a glitter sugared nail. So over the surface, we're gonna sprinkle the glitter on top, we're gonna to cure it, and then we're gonna leave that texture to it. So when I'm doing a sugar nail, I like to use the Ultimate Finish Gel. The Ultimate Finish is a tack-free top coat, so when I sprinkle on my glitter, I'm gonna cure it, and then I'm not gonna to have to worry about having to wipe off a tacky surface. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do one coat of our Ultimate Finish. Nice even coat over the whole nail. take our glitter and I like to do when I'm doing a nail like this with a lot of glitter I actually like to do the glitter application first before I do the rest of my designs that way if I do end up getting maybe a piece or two of glitter on any of the other nails I'm just gonna cover it up with my gel polish if I were to wait and do my gel polish and then sprinkle my glitter if I get another piece of glitter on another nail then I have to worry about finding that and taking that off so do your glitters first save you a little time and effort so before this has a chance to dry in the light, we're gonna sprinkle that glitter on, kind of rolling the nail, make sure that you're coating all of those surfaces. Okay. Now at this point, I'm just gonna tip my nail down, tap off the extra, okay? That way it's not gonna be too much when you go into the light. If you do have any of that top coat that may have gotten onto the skin, just come around, clean that off before you go into the light. We're just gonna freeze it into place, so just 30 seconds. I'm gonna take it out, and notice how I hold the finger. I actually kind of use my own hand as a barrier to the rest of the nails, again, so that I don't get any of that glitter onto the nail. I'm just gonna come through and dust off that extra. So now my product is set underneath, so anything, any of that glitter that has um, kind of soaked into the, into the top coat is gonna just grab on, so it's not gonna peel or flake off right now. Okay, let's go on to the rest of our nails. Once we're done and we're curing the rest of these, this nail is actually gonna go in for the rest of this time so that it's gonna cure all the way through for that full 60 seconds. So we don't have to worry about doing that full cure. Okay, so let's go on to our next nails. So now I'm gonna come in with, this is phenomenal. I love this color. It's a really good kind of a chocolatey winter brown. Just a beautiful, rich color. And we're gonna polish on just a nice even coat of phenomenal. Come right up into that cuticle. Do you see how I'm kind of wiggling that brush, just pushing the edge of my brush up to that cuticle? That's gonna help you get that really nice, clean edge. And then down the sides. Okay. Same thing, come up, and then down the sides. If you noticed, I started polishing about halfway up the nail. So I start about halfway up the nail, that way I don't start all the way here and get too much product down at the end of my nail. Okay. So about halfway up, work back to my cuticle, wiggle up to that edge, and then pull forward. This way you'll get a nice even coverage on the nail and you don't get kind of that puddling. Start all the way up top. Sometimes you get too much down towards your free edge and it'll just puddle at the end. Okay. And then we're gonna cap that end. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this one. Again, 30 seconds to freeze it into place or 60 seconds for a full cure. I'm gonna do a second coat of my color so I have nice, even coverage. Okay. Again, brush about halfway down the nail, cap those sides, cap that free edge. Okay. I'm gonna work back just a little bit more 
back to my cuticle. Coming all the way through the rest of the body, giving a nice, smooth, even coverage over the whole nail. Same thing on our second nail. Brush about halfway down. Cap your edges, cap your free edge. And then work back just a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and take my cocoa and my Canvas 101. And now we're gonna do a little bit of a swirl. So I'm just gonna put a few drops of both of those colors just kind of randomly on the nail. And I like to have an extra lint-free wipe just to make sure to kind of get any of the other color. If I pick up any color as I'm dabbing, I'll just wipe that off so that doesn't get into my other bottles. Okay, we'll go ahead with our canvas. Same thing, just kind of dot a few areas. And that one you'll definitely want to make sure to wipe off because that's a lighter color. So make sure you get all that darker color off of there. I'm going to use a dotting tool and just kind of swirl right through. Now it's going to start to look kind of like that creamy, frothy surface of your hot chocolate. Give it a little bit of dimension with a couple of different colors. Okay, so this one we're going to give it just a quick 30 second cure. So this one's all set and ready to go for our next steps. This one we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a glitter press, again with that new glitter. So this one is gonna kind of accent along with our pointer finger. So I'm just gonna take a just a cheapy little manicure brush. I'm gonna start right back at my cuticle area. I'm gonna tap and then pick up glitter. Tap and pick up glitter. Okay. Now this one, I'm just gonna kind of fade out at the end. So I'm gonna take off a little bit of that extra glitter that may be in my brush and just start to kind of blend that glitter down the nail. Go ahead and dust off the glitter around the edges and just kind of fade it off the end, okay? Just gonna give it a quick little brush to kind of set that product down. Okay, so that's where we're gonna leave those two for now. Let's come back. Let's go ahead and do our color on this one. So this one, we're gonna, again, go back to the Canvas 101. We're gonna brush just like we were doing before, about halfway down, cap our edges, cap that pre-edge, and then work all the way back. Now, if you want to, you could have done all three of these nails with the color in one, in one coat, but just so you kind of don't get confused, I wanted to do these separately. So again, as a time saver, go ahead and do all your colors on all of the nails. Another quick 30 second cure, up to a minute cure. Do another coat of my canvas so I have nice even coverage over the whole nail. And then we'll give that another quick 30 second cure to freeze it, or if you wanna do a minute, you can do that and that'll be the full cure on the nail. Now when you're working with um, colors that have kind of that shimmer or that pearl to them. I always try to make sure that I'm brushing nice and straight so that you don't get too much of a swirl to the design, that your pearl is going through the whole length of the nail. So they can be kind of tricky, but they're really pretty with that pearl. We're gonna come back in with a little bit more of Phenomenal. So I'm gonna start with the base color that we used on these two. This one, I'm gonna do just about half of that nail. So I'm gonna start by my cuticle and just polish about half the nail. All right, now if you need to, you can always come back in with your gel brush. Come back in and just swipe right across there. I don't have any cleanser or product or anything on my gel brush, it's just a clean brush. So I can just kind of come in, use that to clean up that line. All right, so we're good there. I'm gonna come back in with my cocoa and my canvas and do that same technique. Just kind of dot a few 
dots on there. Wipe out my brush if I need to. Same thing with my canvas. Now you notice that I don't do two coats of Phenomenal on this one. I don't necessarily need that full coverage. I like to have a little bit of that white showing through underneath. It just kind of helps to add a little bit to that design. Same thing, we're just gonna swirl through. Get that great cocoa looking appearance. All right, and again, let's go ahead and cure that in the light. Okay, so our nails are all cured. Now we're just gonna accent with a little bit of our gold leafing, that gold foil. And just be careful, it is very delicate, so you don't wanna sneeze. If you sneeze, it's gonna go everywhere. So I'm just gonna take a few little pieces. I kinda of like to break it up a little bit before I actually put it on the nail. If you want bigger chunks, go ahead and just put on the bigger chunks, whatever works for your design. So now, I, if you're able to pick it up, go ahead and pick it up with the dotting tool. Sometimes what I like to do though is I'll come back in and I'll kind of touch the surface just to pick up a little bit of that tacky surface and then it'll pick up my, my foil. So on this one, I'm gonna do just some smaller pieces right at, right at that seam, right in between my, um, my brown and my white. Just kind of Tuck them right in there. They'll stick right to that tacky surface. Okay. Now, if you wanna kind of break them up a little bit more, just grab an orange wood stick. You can kind of break them up a little bit, get a little bit more definition. Rather than those large chunky pieces, just give it a little bit more subtlety. You can kind of move them around. I like to just kind of give them just a little bit of a tap just to press them down so that they're nice and flat on the nail so that they're not poking up. Let's see here. One more right there, I think. All right. So I think I like how this one's coming out. Go ahead and leave that one where it is. Let's add a little bit of accent onto this one. Now if you want, you can do half the nail, you can do up the side of the nail. Just depends on where, where your foil falls. Just to give it those little accents. Let's break this one up just a little bit. Anytime you're doing a gel manicure, the gold leafing, and we also have silver too. So if you like silver, that's a great option as well. But I love using the gold leafing uh, just because it, it's a really quick and easy technique, but it just adds so much different dimension and a little bit more fun to the nail. All right, so I think I've got that right where I want it, maybe just a little bit more. All right, all pressed down. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to do our top coats. Now remember, we're not gonna do a top coat on this one. This is our sugar nail, so we wanna keep that texture and dimension to the nail. On this one, we did a glitter press, so I wanna make sure that I do two coats of top coat or a coat of base coat and a coat of top coat, your preference. Sometimes I like to use the base coat if it's a little bit of a chunkier glitter. I feel like there's a little bit more thickness to the base coat to seal that in. Okay, but this is a finer glitter, so we'll just do two coats of top coat. And I also like to do two coats of top coat when I'm working over the foils. I feel like sometimes you just need that little bit of extra top coat to really seal that in. Okay, so again, this is our manicure top coat. We're gonna just brush over that, seal our design in. Now, anytime you're working with a glitter and you're doing that glitter press, I always recommend having a separate um, base coat or top coat, whichever one you're using, when you're working with glitter. Because that way, 
if you get any glitter into the base or top coat, you won't have to worry about it going on to your next nail. So have a separate bottle of base or top coat just that you use for glitters and then you can use your regular base and top coat for over your other designs or other colors. We'll freeze that into place for a quick 30 seconds and then we'll do our second coat. We'll go ahead and do our second coat of top coat to really seal those nails in. Get a good finish. Now when we're done with the second coat, we're going to put this into the light for the full 60 seconds. That way it's going to cure all of the layers all the way through and give everything a really good solid cure. And one final 60 second cure. Again, this nail is all set. We don't have to worry about any tacky surface on that one. On the other three, we're going to come in with our manicure cleanser. So Manicure Cleanser is going to help to remove that tacky surface from our top coats, but it's also going to help leave that really nice high shine. So again, I'm just going to give them a quick wipe. And right there. Now notice any glitter that was stuck around the edges. If you hadn't come back in to clean off any top coat that may have slid down the side, you would have gotten glitter all the way around that edge. If you do happen to get a little glitter around the edge, go ahead and grab the 180 file buffer combo. If you need to file off a little bit of an edge, go ahead and use the file. If you just need a little bit of buffing to kind of soften up that edge a little bit, because sometimes the little pieces of glitter will stick out, just use that 180 buffer just to give it a really quick smooth down. And if this were on an actual client, go ahead and apply your cuticle oil and you're all set. Um, I need them. I love them. They'll go with everything, but how much am I paying for it? Okay. So depending on how you're doing the nails, I showed them as just a gel manicure. Okay. okay. So my gel manicures are going to start at 50 and that's just for one solid color. Okay. So on top of that, we added one glitter. So we added a glitter onto the two nails, but it was still just the one glitter. So I charged $5 for just the one glitter. Got it. Okay. I added two extra colors into my swirls. Okay, so 55, okay, so, 60. 50, 55, 60, 65. I'm not taking my shoes off for this. <laughs> and then we added in a gold foil. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's an extra $5. I lost track of where we were. 60, 70. 70, 70. Yep. thank you. Okay, and then because we took a little bit of extra time to kind of do the design, I'm gonna add just another $5 on that. Technique. Bit this is a big one, right? Mm -hmm. Because there are some designs that take us a little longer. Mm -hmm. And even though you're only using maybe two, three colors, um, the technique itself warrants being charged. So um, it's gonna add time. If it's adding time, it's gonna add money. I love that. And I love the fact that you took it from a gel polish uh, standpoint, because we don't do that a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's a very common service and they want artwork too, even if they have short nails. So I think that's great. Um, I definitely am getting hot toddy, uh, not hot <laughs> chocolate, uh, tonight, but thank you, Karen. I appreciate yeah. it. They're beautiful. Hey guys, we hope you love our nail videos. Comment below and let us know what you want to see next. To see more, go right over here to subscribe to our channel, head right over here.